Welcome to my channel on today. I'm Sandra Burnett. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about what some of you probably been wondering, my hair journey. I started my hair journey four years ago and I'm going to show you pictures, a video of how I went through my hair journey to get to this point. If you're wondering how I got this hairdo, well, this is just from using my own products. I use my leave-in conditioner, I use my deep conditioner, and I used a fenugreek spray. And I just twisted my hair up, and two or three days later, I took it down, and bang, I got this. I'm now working on... That's right, 10,000 subscribers. So tell a friend, tell a neighbor about my channel. So guys, I want you to remember to subscribe. Click that notification button. Give me a thumbs up. Let's get busy. Okay guys, so we're going to get started here. This is actually a picture of me and my twin brother. And it looks like we were about three months old, I would say. And you can see that my hair was rather short in this picture. In this picture, my hair was natural. And I actually remember the day of this picture. I was around five or six, and my mom had dressed me up to go to school to take pictures and she sent me by her sister house to make sure that you know I get to school on time and to make sure that my hair was still combed nicely for the picture. As I gotten older I do remember sitting on the porch with my mom and she would do my hair and she would use either I believe like Royal Crown or Blue Magic to do my hair. And by the time I was nine years old, my mother allowed me to take care of my own hair. So you can see I have gotten a little older in these pictures. Back then my hair was still natural and we wear it froze to school back then. And as you can see, I had a lot of hair. The picture on the left, I was around mm, between the age of 13 and 15. And then the picture on the right was my graduation picture and I was around 17 years old. I took care of my hair with like using grease and I remember I hardly washed my hair. I could remember we used to wear a lot of French braids and I remember people will tell me, oh, you got good hair. And that is really funny when you think about it because all of our hair is good. God don't make bad hair. Whether your hair is coarse, soft, 4C, 4A, 3A, whatever it may be, all of our hair is good. We just need to make sure that we take care of our hair. I was in my 20s in these two pictures and I was still natural at the time. How many of you guys remember those wicker chairs? <laughs> I would use permanent dye, ladies, to dye my hair. Dark and lovely, in fact, was the dye that I used back then. My hair was suffering from like dry ends and brittle. And on top of that, ladies, I was using a pressing comb along with curling iron, and then I would roll my hair up with sponge rollers. So you can see, I was really not taking care of my hair. So ladies, this is my wedding picture. I was age 28, and my hair was still natural. And you can see that my hair was just falling right on my shoulders at that time. So this is a picture of me, my husband, and our first son. Our son was about five or six months, so I had just finished taking the prenatal pills. And my hair had grew past my shoulders at that time. And I was still natural in this picture. 
And as you can see, that's when we wear the big bangs. <laughs> and this picture is also about two years before I got my relaxer for the next 20 plus years. So the following pictures, you will see my hair relax. So as you can see, my hair is relaxed, it's beautiful. And my hair had been relaxed a few years because you can see that my hair was long. And I really loved my hair being relaxed. I enjoyed taking care of my hair. I would wash and deep condition my hair faithfully, even when I was relaxed every single week. And then I would set my hair with hard plastic rollers and get under a head dryer and then wrap my hair around my head and to get this nice straight look that you see in my picture. And one thing I did also when my hair was relaxed is that I would use the products that my beautician used. So whatever he used, I would use. And I also avoid using curling irons at that time so my hair was doing very well being relaxed. And as you can see in these pictures, my hair was even longer. My hair was flourishing. Here are more pictures showing that my hair was rather long, relaxed. I remember that I would wear scarves on my head when I go to bed to protect my hair. And so I was really taking care of my hair. But then all of a sudden, I noticed my hair began to fall out after being relaxed 20 plus years. And I remember my, the front of my hair was gone on my hairline. The back of my hair, I had patches of lost hair. I began watching YouTube videos of black women with long, beautiful hair. And I was just thrown away. I was amazed to see how long our natural hair could get. I had been relaxed for so long, I didn't even know how to take care of natural hair. So it took me a while to step into this natural hair thing, but I did it after months and watching video after video of how to take care of my hair. And so, the next video is going to be about when I began my natural journey. Today is July the 27th, 2016. And I decided that I am going to grow my relaxer out of my hair and grow and go natural. So I will be giving you updates as the time goes on so that you can see the progress. This is a lot of hair to grow out, but it's something that I decided that I want to do. Talk with you soon, bye. So guys, you can see in these pictures, I started my natural hair journey. And guys, I must say it was very challenging for me because I was still used to relaxed hair. So working with two textures of hair, oof, many times I felt like giving up and going back natural. And I had measured my relaxed hair. My relaxed hair was 18 inches long. So my plan during that time was to cut one inch off every two months. And in two years, I was planning to be all natural. So my natural hair journey included braids. I wear a lot of braids and then I would take my braids and put it back into a ponytail. I would take the braids down to get this nice wavy look that you see in the picture on the right. I went through so many hair products trying to find what worked for my hair. And to be honest with you, I'm kind of glad that I went through that because it helped me to learn what my hair liked. And so doing this hair journey, I also would do a lot of twist outs to help blend the two textures together. 
So I went from cutting like one inch off every two months to cutting two inches, three inches off. I had to start getting tired of going through the hair journey. After 22 months of transitioning, I decided to do the big chop. So on May the 18th, 2018, I cut off all of my relaxed hair. My hair was short. I really didn't, couldn't do much with it. I could hardly even put my hair in a ponytail. But then about a month later, ladies, I did my little teeny afro and it was so cute. And my hair was growing about four and a half inches a year, but I was still patient, determined to get my hair growing and healthy. So ladies, now you can see my hair began to flourish and it was just taking off growing. I tell you, I was washing my hair back then faithfully every week. I was conditioning my hair faithfully every week. I was looking at video after video on how to take care of my hair. And ladies, it definitely paid off. I found a YouTuber who had hair similar to mine, and then I would do what they did. So I would use clay washes to wash my hair. I went through many shampoos. I went through many leave-in conditioners and deep conditioners until I found what my hair liked and I used it, ladies. So ladies, then I began to study the natural way of taking care of your hair. So I began to get into moringa and then of course fenugreek, which is one of my favorites. And ladies, my hair flourish even more. As you can see, my hair is flourishing to this day. July will be five years since I started my journey. Guys, thank you so much for joining me on today. I want you to remember to subscribe. Click that notification button. Keep those comments coming. And guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.